So what is a custom jersey? Let's get to the bottom of it right now. Okay, welcome to episode four of the Powers Sports Memorabilia Show. I am your host, Matt Powers. Thank you for joining us. Uh, make sure you guys are subscribing on YouTube, Stitcher, SoundCloud, wherever you guys are listening to, watching. I appreciate the subscription there. We're going to be putting out a whole bunch of content for you guys and hoping uh, you are going to be enjoying it. As always, visit the uh, website powersportsmemorabilia.com if you need any autograph needs. So let's talk about these custom jerseys. You see these all over the place. What are they? Where do they come from? Are they ethical? Hmm, that's probably the biggest question. So uh, let's talk about what is a custom jersey. Okay, so a custom jersey, you'll often see these mainly for football autograph jerseys. It's just a no name brand. Uh, jersey doesn't have any logos or any branding on it. It's just a name, uh, no name brand jersey, okay? It's just got the blank name and a player's name and also their number on there. So for those of you watching on YouTube, you can see this right here. Here's a Wistrom jersey, okay? Just kind of a custom one. Got his name on there, he signed it. And see the front, it's just blank. So that's what a custom jersey looks like. Uh, why do people use them? Well, that's a very good question. So the main reason people use custom jerseys is because of price, okay? They are much more affordable than, you know, your officially licensed uh, jersey. Uh, typically, a custom jersey can be made also of a player who doesn't have an officially licensed jersey. So take Grant Wistrom, for example. He doesn't have an officially licensed jersey out there anymore. He's retired, and um, especially for the college ones, he doesn't have anything like that. So that is why custom jerseys are used. Uh, but mainly it's for the price. So most collectors are gonna be framing their jersey. And then when you frame the jersey, you don't see the front of the jersey. And so that is the thought process behind a custom jersey is, A, you get it for a lot less expensive, a lot cheaper price, and when you frame it, you really can't tell the difference. Now, listen, obviously you can tell the difference if there's a little bit of um, you know, uh, artwork on the sleeve or something like that. But if you're looking for just a basic generic jersey, uh, the custom jersey is uh, the way to go, 100%. I mean, you're gonna be cutting your cost by hundreds, uh, sometimes depending on who the athlete is. So, um, which one do you buy? Do you buy a custom jersey or do you stick with an officially licensed jersey? And that is the, completely up to the end user. Uh, for me personally, uh, I always prefer an official license jersey when, it, when available uh, just because I, I like the, the look of it. I like the authenticity of it. But, uh, you know, I, I, listen, if a player's jersey is not available, custom is the only way to go. So I don't see any wrong with the custom jersey. I mean, you know, there's no branding on it or anything like that. So there's no logos. You know, you're not going to see a, a Nike logo on there or anything like that. So um, it's just that the player's name and a number on there. So. Uh, personally, you know, I mean, it's entirely up to you, but most people are going to shift towards the custom jersey just because of that price, you know. I mean, gosh, you can get a, an autographed jersey for, in some cases, you know, I've seen them as cheap as like $60, $70. I mean, that is a bargain, you know. You know, some of your uh, decent players, you know, you can get for under $150, you know. So you $150, you frame it for $250, you're in it for $400 for uh, autographed jersey of one of your favorite players. You, know, you buy just the unsigned jersey, you're spending $150 on an official licensed one. So that's where the issue comes in for people. Um, and I don't, I don't blame people for doing it either way. So I think what the main question is when it comes to custom jerseys, and I don't have all the answers for this one, but is it ethical? And that is the, the one that question that is tossed around and I hear questions about it uh, a lot and conversations about it. You know, obviously you're, you're taking a jersey and you know, you're using similar colors to a team and, and obviously you're putting the player's name on it. And you know, is it close to the you know, actual jersey they wear? I mean, potentially close. I mean, uh, you know, the main thing is obviously you know, not using any logos and all that kind of stuff, you know, so that's, you know, that's, obviously okay by me, but it, you know, is it ethical? I mean, that's, I don't know. I mean, obviously you're, you know, you're representing it as close to whatever that team is. 
Uh, and I've seen, uh, you know, some other uh, vendors out there who just say, hey, you know, Grant Wistrom signed red jersey, you know, and they won't use any name or anything like that. And, and, I, and I think that's okay too, you know. Uh, but, you know, I don't see this kind of lasting forever, you know, this custom jersey deal. I think eventually it's going to be kind of phased out, whether it be, um, you know, force or, or people just stop using them, which I don't see that happening. So, uh, you know, I personally don't see a whole bunch wrong with it, you know, as long as, again, there's no branding and, you know, there's no, uh, you know, it's not like those China jerseys, you know, none of that stuff, you know. So, you know, dealers are always looking for a way to uh, bring more value and items at a better price to the customer. And this is the best way to do that for jerseys. And if customers don't want them, they'll stop buying them. But I haven't seen that be the case. And in fact, they're buying them even more often. You know, I just, I just think the end customer is just not really all that concerned with having an officially licensed jersey. Yes, you will see some customers that that want to have you know a particular type jersey for, let's just say for Ezekiel Elliott. I'm just throwing a name out there. You know, a high price autograph ticket. You know. That I totally get, you know, no big deal. But for your, you know, every, average everyday athlete, you know, a you know, custom jersey is just the way to go. And like I said, the big thing is, is you can't find some of these jerseys for some of these athletes. You know, some of them have been retired or they just don't make the jersey of them or you want their college one and they don't, uh, obviously don't make the college one. And that's just really a big miss in my part in um, uh, the college realm of uh, merchandise is, man, they should... Be able to make jerseys for past players at a, like an affordable price. You know, I think it's great what the the Nike brand is doing with Tom Brady and also Charles Woodson. You can get the Nike branded jerseys for, for those past players, and I love getting those jerseys. I mean, they're not sewn on; they're the kind of the screen printed one. But if you use a thick enough pen, the uh, the autograph looks really stunning on them. I, I've used them a couple times, and and they look phenomenal. So. Man, I, if I had the choice of doing that and like, and Nike came out and you know started making jerseys of all the past players and stuff like that, I mean, they're actually pretty affordable. The actual, the jersey I think retails for, you know, 99 bucks and sometimes you can get a coupon code and get them for 75 bucks, you know? And, you know, 75 bucks as opposed to $150, I, you know, I, I would probably lean more towards that, you know, as opposed to getting a custom jersey, which, you know, probably costs, you know, the end customer, maybe an extra 50, 75 bucks, you know, so. I don't know. I think it will be worth it. I think that, you know, getting a nice quality jersey like that and one that uh, looks presentable and everything like that. I mean, I would always lean towards officially licensed when the, when the pricing is right, you know. Uh, but I, I would love to see that. I would love to see uh, college basketball jerseys being made for, for past players that come out and, and, and make them affordable. They don't have to be sewn on and all that stuff, you know. But just, you know, come out, come out with a jersey, any jersey, and make it officially licensed and make it quality and make it uh, good enough to get an autograph on you know some of these companies that make these jerseys they make it so the number is this this is plastic piece of junk and you can't get it signed so you have to have it signed on the jersey which for me is a you know is a collector and is a, an autograph dealer is I don't like them signed on the jersey I think it looks funky I, I think the autograph is not gonna last any longer I think it's gonna last longer on the number and I think it looks better presentable on the number so you know, I, I wish they would do a better job of making these jerseys more uh, affordable and, of course, uh, better for the autograph. Because that's what people really want, at least in my industry, is when they buy a jersey, they want the autograph to, to jump. And, you know, they want the autograph to last long. You know, they don't want to have to spray hairspray on these things or whatever these people do with these jerseys. You know, you shouldn't have to do that. You know, this is 2018, okay? Make a quality jersey that can withstand a freaking autograph. And, you know, I know the college stuff gets, you know, the NCAA is just, you know, crooks when it comes to stuff like this. You know, I get it. You know, they're just, um, you know, I, I get the kid gets a college education. I get all that stuff. But they bring so much more value nowadays than what they did when this initial setup was done. So I'd like to see them be able to sell their jerseys and get the players get a little cut and have them, you know, whether it goes into a trust and they get that trust, you know, when they graduate, I mean, heck, put it in a trust and have invested up a little bit and maybe they make a little bit of money and hey, 
everybody's happy, you know. I mean, we're not talking hundreds of thousands of dollars here, but they, you know, get a little bit of cut. But as a fan, you're also able to buy a quality jersey of your favorite player, you know. I mean, you should be able to make a jersey of, you know, Devontae Graham from Kansas and, you know, have it be affordable price, maybe 70 to $80, you know. You don't got to use a whole bunch of great quality material on it, but just enough to get a quality autograph on it and have it look nice, you know. I mean, Adidas and Nike should be able to do that, so... Anyways, that's just my two cents on there. Uh, hopefully that answers your questions on what a custom jersey is and what it isn't. And if you have any questions on any of that, always always reach out to me. And again, make sure you please hit that subscribe button. I'd always appreciate that, especially up here on, on YouTube for you guys watching. I'm going to be trying to put out a bunch of videos. I know people like to watch videos. And um, make sure you guys, for the uh, podcast, wherever you guys listen to, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And, of course, check out the website, powersportsmemorabilia.com. Thanks again, guys. Always a blast. And I will talk to you uh, next week on Episode 5.